my name is Alice Gray and welcome back to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of science shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. Having a baby changes a lot of things. It changes your body, it changes your bank balance and it changes your attitude to life. But does it change your brain? Well if I'm going to talk about this topic I might as well go find a baby to help illustrate my points and provide some adorable visuals. Hello. Here's my shameless baby voice. So when you have one of these little things, it completely changes your brain. We see massive releases of different neurotransmitters and we also see structural changes in the brain as well. Brain scans have shown that the brain changes before and after birth, mainly changing in areas of the brain associated with social interaction and empathy. During pregnancy, the brain goes under significant structural changes, and these changes can last as long as two years. Some studies have found that during pregnancy, the brain shrinks. This decrease in brain size is thought to be associated with the brain adapting and maturing to suit the new role as a parent. We also see a part of the brain called the hippocampus, a region of the brain associated with memory, becoming smaller during pregnancy. A lot of people complain of something called baby brain during their pregnancy, where they feel a bit more forgetful or not as sharp as they usually do. Now this is usually dismissed as an old wives tale, but actually research has found that this might actually exist. Research found that compared to non-pregnant women, expectant mothers performed worse on tasks measuring attention, decision making, planning and memory. The pregnant participants performed worse on the tasks than non-pregnant participants. So research like this helps to explain and validate the very frustrating feelings of confusion and disorientation that a lot of pregnant people feel, otherwise known as baby brain. During pregnancy we don't just see structural changes, we also see hormonal changes as well, with hormones being released which are vital in the baby making process. Oxytocin release causes regular contractions, and that's why if we want to induce labour, we can give patients synthetic oxytocin. Oxytocin plays a really important part of the pushing out bit of having a baby, but it also plays a really important part of the looking after a baby bit as well. When a baby is born, many describe an overwhelming sense of euphoria, and this is the result of the release of oxytocin, as well as other hormones like prolactin and other endorphins. Oxytocin is affectionately known as the cuddle chemical, as it's released during skin-on-skin -skin contact. It helps to build bonds and makes us feel good. And this is why we tend to put babies on bare skin when they've just been born. There is so much going on in our brain after we have a baby. We have to come to terms with the fact that we're going to look after something that can't walk, talk or look after itself. And to cope with that, our brain has to rearrange itself and release hormones to make us want to take on that responsibility. So that's it for this episode of Grey Matter. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for next time.